It is still winter well inside the Arctic Circle, but like shattered glass, the smashed ice below our helicopter as we fly north, the telltale signs of climate change. Historically, March and deep into April, Greenland was one white constant of ice. Not anymore. These tiny dark matchboxes are the houses and homes of remote Umanak, just 900 miles from the North Pole. The wintering boats at crazy angles. But the streets and houses of Umanak tell a story of a community in rapid change, change inflicted by events beyond their lives, loves and politics. This is a town of a thousand souls, and it seems that every one of them has turned out to see Ban Ki-moon. The children may not know who he is, but the adults know that if he wins, he'll be their children's improbable savior. They know too that this is a daunting and almost but not yet completely impossible task. The children in this remote spot are so connected that they can speak English. I learn because of movies. Because you watch lots of movies? Yes. Now, do you know what climate change is? Do you know what's happening to the climate around your village here, your town? I don't really know about climate, but I'm freezing here. You're freezing here. Let me ask your teacher then. Are you aware of changes that are going on around you? Oh, yes. It's uh, quite obviously that because the ice is coming uh, late yeah. and uh, disappearing very early. And the ice would be here for how many months? Oh, um, f five months. Or, or and, something. and nowadays? <laughs> two. Really? Two, two or three months. Really? Uh, where you can use the ice, then yeah. it starts breaking up. And the UN Secretary General is accompanied by Denmark's Borgen True Premier, Helle Toning Schmidt. There is a moment inside the town's little Lutheran church when you sense their joint contemplation of the scale of human behavior that has to be confronted if global communities are not to be undermined and destroyed by the climate change amongst which these people live. Afterwards, I talked to both leaders. I asked how are northern economies suffering austerity to be persuaded that battling climate change must be their priority. That is why I'm uh, urging world leaders uh, to uh, look beyond all national uh, uh, boundaries. I know that uh, some uh, developing worlds, uh, they are still uh, struggling to overcome economic and financial uh, difficulties. But if uh, you address this climate change phenomenon, then this will uh, provide uh, much, much more job opportunities. This will provide a much, much better uh, even security situation. What we need to do now is to gather all the forces and work very hard to change this because we're standing here in Greenland. We can see what is, what it, how it, climate change is changing lives for the people living here. But it's not only that. It is all over the globe that lives are cha changing because of climate change. And the good news is that we can still try to combat it. The bad news is that if we don't do it soon, it will be too late. Dogs in Greenland are a way of life, animal skins, meat, the produce of a hunter-gathering community. But hunting depends upon speed across the ice. As the ice fails, this way of life fails. Ban Ki-moon and his Danish host take to their sleds as if to express solidarity with the men cracking the whips on their dog teams, doing what Greenlanders have done for centuries, the only way across this roadless country but doing what may become impossible within our own children's lifetime. Walking on the self-same ice, Mr. Ban tells me of the emergency summit he'll stage in New York in September, and others in and Lima and Paris, determined to forge in a Paris, new international climate change agreement Can by next year. The Danish Prime Minister is a candidate to replace Manuel Barroso as the EU chief. If she gets to crack the whip for real, shall be the most outspoken on climate change yet. The two hasten home on their sleds, leaving promises and challenges riding on the ice behind them. Leaving Umanak, we have seen a community profoundly changed inside one generation. And yet what is happening here in Greenland has the potential to create far more catastrophe across the globe than has happened even here 